All right, best knockout. I guess you could say Lee Wood Conlon. You could say that. You could say that. I mean, it would be a fair shout, the, the way, how dramatic it was. Definitely, mm. it should be up there. But for me, there's only one, cool. and it's Cordina Regala. No one, no one's seen that coming. And yeah. for, for Joe to land that shot the way he did, stepping right through and punching through the target, a guy was out before he hit the floor. Yeah, it was a, it was a heavy one. It really was. So that's my knockout of the year. So yeah, that's fantastic. And you're right. I mean, if anyone sort of would have picked how that fight was going to play out, it was probably Ogawa knocking out Cordina. Ogawa was the one that was considered the heavy puncher. Mm. So for Cordina to do that, statement. I thought Joe could outbox him, but did I think he could knock him out in that fashion? Absolutely not. And a couple of times now, Joe, yep. in the last twelve months, he's clearly got power as well as his boxing ability. I've got two. Do you, do you mind me having two? Is that okay? Bro, you fired away. Thank you very much. Conor Ben, Algeri. That was a naughty one. Literally, he, he was gone before yeah. he hit the floor. Fat line. Yeah, and Conor could have done another one. Remember, he, he was going to do another one. He thought, I don't off. need to. Yeah. I don't need to because you're already gone. You're going down that way. Yeah. It was crazy. Reminiscent of um, when Sergio Martinez knocked out Paul Williams and Paul Williams oh, kind of fell first. Fell forward, face That first. was what it was yeah. like. But in terms of drama, I've got to go um, Lee Woods knockout of Michael Conlon. Like, I mean, when someone goes through the ropes, and look, at the time we couldn't even really celebrate because you couldn't do anything because you were scared about, you know, what's going on with Michael Conlon. Mm. And I felt like, I felt sorry for Lee Wood because he missed his opportunity to go mad. Yeah. He missed that opportunity. Um, but to, to knock out Conlon like that, you're losing the fight. Mm. He was losing the fight. You know, he was getting battered mm. most of the rounds. For him to find that punch in the 12th round in front of his home fans, jeez. That's the first time. I've ever been genuinely worried about a boxer yeah. from a knockout. I mm -hmm. literally went round and I tried to help and do whatever I could. Mm -hmm. uh, got a blanket for Adam Boo to pass on to Michael. Uh, and I'm not, I, I'm not, I don't know Michael too yeah, well. Yeah. Uh, I know of him and we know each other. We shake hands say hello, but I was genuinely worried that night. And I remember driving home just thinking, I hope he's all right. Mm -hmm. And then sending messages, stopping out petrol stations and yeah. service stations, just sending messages to, to people on his team and say, is he okay? I was there. No one had any news and I just didn't sleep well that night because mm. I was genuinely worried. The way he came out of that ring, the way he hit the floor, yeah, it, oh, it just makes me hard. Yeah. Me That's open. one thing that needs to change with boxing is almost that around the ring. I've been saying Because we've seen it before. I remember Bernard Hopkins yeah. when he went through the ropes. I think it was against Joe Smith. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it, it happened so many times. It's numerous times. Yeah. I've been stating this for quite a while now. We need a six foot area around the outside of the ring. Just mm. another, another two mats, that's all I'm asking for. Yeah. Of just of just the table and then a mat on top of the table. So mm. when the guys fall, they'll fall on the table and on the mat, they can't roll past that then. Yeah. It would be so important and it would, would save a lot more damage to fighters in the future. Yeah, uh, Michael Condon's obviously fine. He's got a fight coming up very, very soon. By the way, if you guys see Tony Bellew ringside, he's supposed to be in the studio, but Tony Bellew always goes ringside to watch the action all the I get, time. I get asked and then he has score. to run back to the studio when something crazy happens. I get asked to score, and I don't usually like scoring bouts, but they always ask me and I say, well, I can't score it fairly. Unless you're um, there. Unless I'm right there, because you need to hear the punches land. No, no, we hear. can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. Through the TV, yeah. we can hear you, Tony.